So we have some new ad money numbers released. And um, the update on Michael Bloomberg is just out of this world. Bloomberg has spent a total of $351 million. $351 million on his campaign in ads. I'm seeing Bloomberg ads all of the time here in New York. The one that I saw last night really got under my skin. It was Michael Bloomberg basically trying to pretend that Barack Obama endorsed him. Now, Barack Obama didn't endorse him. He didn't endorse anybody. But that didn't stop Michael Bloomberg from functionally lying, effectively lying in the campaign ad to make it look like Obama supports him. Now, is it possible Obama would support Bloomberg? Yes, but he hasn't announced support, and Bloomberg is running that ad. Really gross, really disingenuous, the kind of cheap tactics and tricks that you would expect from a loathsome character like Michael Bloomberg. And now you know the extent of his ad buys. Recently, when we spoke about it, it was, I think, $200 million that he spent on ads. Now we're at $351 million. Last time we spoke about it wasn't that long ago, the $200 million. He's basically doubled the spending since then. Tom Steyer Steyer's $178 million. By the way, actually, the last time it said $200 million, so I don't know how that number went down. But either way, a lot of that is being focused in um, South Carolina. So he's doing well in the polls in South Carolina because of the ads. So the ads are relatively effective. They're relatively effective. But what we're seeing here, as I've said a thousand times, is this is a case study in just how far money alone can get you in politics. Because Michael Bloomberg has the personality of watching paint dry. He's got an ideology that's deeply unpopular when you go issue for issue. Um, And he has basically bought his way to third place in the polls. And it's all through these ads. There's another impact of this, guys. And this one is not being stressed enough. What Michael Bloomberg is doing here, on top of you know just getting the ads out there and, and raising his profile, he's also effectively buying loyalty from media outlets. Because who are the beneficiaries of this ad money? It's the media outlets. So now we're getting to a point where Bloomberg is spending so much money that he is like propping up many local news outlets because he's just pumping them with ad money and making them wealthy. So you have another problem. You have this like pay-to-play problem, this corruption problem that goes hand in hand with him spending $351 million on ads. You're going to get a media that's really not hostile to him. That's really not going to do any investigative reporting. That's really not going to even tell you what his basic positions are that are the unpopular positions. They're not going to do that because he has effectively bought their loyalty, both at the national level and definitely at the local level as well. I do not know how this is allowed. So if you're a billionaire, you could just spend all your money and he's not going to get anywhere near all of his money. I think he has something like $40 billion, but... But he can just basically try to buy a presidential race. And that's fine. That's allowable. That's okay. Working people mess around and buy a new pair of pants. Millionaires mess around and buy a new car. Billionaires mess around and buy a political party. And try to buy an election. Buy a country. We're watching that happen in real time. I don't know why this isn't a bigger story. Well, I do. I just told you. Because the same people who would who would supposed who are supposed to cover this are the same people who are the beneficiaries of this ad money. So they're gonna they're not gonna go after him hard because he's making them rich. There's another thing he's doing now. Get this: he's buying influencers too. He's buying influencers. So he's like getting like YouTubers and Instagram folks on his side. Any YouTuber who starts saying positive things about Mike Bloomberg, you will feel my wrath. Because you guys are the scum of the earth, as low as you could possibly get. Buy some Buying allegiance to this absolutely terrible candidate. And make no mistake about it, he is a terrible candidate. We've gone through his record a hundred times, and I'll go through him a million more. Video emerged to him the other day, arguing in favor of TPP very recently. 
This guy you think is going to have any chance against Trump? Trump will destroy him. He argued for TPP. He vetoed a minimum wage increase as mayor of New York City. He banned big gulps. This is what he's known for. This is what he's known for. He wants to control your life and stop you from getting a raise. In 2004, he endorsed Bush at the Republican National Convention. Bush. After four years of Bush, Mike Bloomberg said, yeah, let's go with Bush. He's trying to buy an election. And I'll be damned if he didn't get his, buy his way all the way to third place already. Some betting market, the betting markets actually have him just below Bernie. So Bernie's the favorite to win the whole thing. Bloomberg is below him. Leapfrogged Biden, leapfrogged Pete. This is where we're at. This is the power of money. Mike Bloomberg is buying friends and buying allegiance. And he is like literally a parody. He's a caricature of, you know, a, a weak candidate that Trump could beat up on. Trump will have a field day with this loser. So just understand that. We got to get Bernie elected. He's our only hope to beat Trump.